when we are being told to find uh, the median, Q1, which is the lower quartile, Q3, which is the upper quartile, and the 80th percentile. We just need to extend this table and add another column of cumulative frequency. We just go adding, so we start with 2, then you go adding, 2 plus 5, that gives you 7, 7 plus 16, that will give you 23, 23 plus 9 will give you 32, 32 plus 5 will give you 37, this will give you 39, and then this one will give you 40. We need that column when you're getting the median. Then from that point, we need to know the formula of calculating median. We say that median, which is Q2, is given by uh, L plus N over 2 minus CF divided by F multiplied by I. We just need to know what is L. L, it is the lower limit of the median class. N is the total frequency, which is 40. CF is the cumulative frequency above the median class. F is the frequency of the median class. And I, it is the class interval of the median class. And therefore, what is important here is to get the median class. How to get the median class? This is how you get the median class. First, you take the total frequency, you divide by 2. That will be 40 divided by 2. You go to where we have 20 in your cumulative frequency, where we have 20. If you come here, if you check where 20 is, 20 is inside uh, 23. And therefore, that is how you get the median class. Our median class will be uh, 155 to 159. After getting the median class now, you go back to that formula and say Q2 will be equal to L, the lower limit of the median class. If this is our median class, it will be uh, 154.5 plus into N divided by 2, that is 20 minus CF, that is cumulative frequency above the median class. When you are here, what is above this cumulative frequency? It is 7. And therefore, you are going to put 7. We divide by frequency of the median class. When you are here, this is the frequency, which is 16. Then we multiply by the class interval. How do you get class interval? It is 159.5 minus 154.5. You take the upper limit minus the lower limit. And that one will give you 5 as your class interval. Then you can simplify this one. This is the same as uh, 154.5 plus 4.0625 when you simplify this one 20 minus 7 uh, that is 13 divided by 16 multiplied by 5 this is what you get when you add this one you're supposed to get 158.5625 as your median now part b of a question we told to find the q1 using the formula we say q1 is equals to l plus uh, 1 over 4 of n minus cf divided by f multiplied by i. Now, we need to get where is q1, which class has got q1. To get that class, we take 1 over 4 times 40. n is the total frequency. We get it is 10. Now, we come to here. This is where our q1 is. It is still because 10 is still in 23. And therefore, our Q1 will be in this class. Hence, the class we are using is 155 to 159. Using that class, we now come here and say that L is the lower limit of that class. This will be 154 plus 1 over 4 times N, we are found to be 10, minus whatever is above this cumulative frequency, which is 7. Then we divide by the frequency of that class, which is 16. Then you multiply by the class interval, which is 5. Simplifying this one, this is 154.5. This will be 154.5 plus, when you do this one, uh, this is 3 divided by 16 times 5. You're supposed to get 0 0.9375. When you add these two, you get it is 155.4375. That is our Q1. We go to part C of the question. Part C, we are getting Q3, which is the upper quartile. We are going to say that Q3 is simply uh, L plus 
3 over 4 of n minus cf divided by uh, f, then multiply by i. Now we need to get where is the class which has got this upper quartile. Now to do that one, we need to get what is 3 over 4 of n. And therefore 3 over 4 of n of 40 will be equals to 30. When you simplify, this will be 10. And therefore we come here where we have the cumulative frequency and see where is 30. 30 lies inside 32. And therefore we're going to use this one here. This is where our Q3 is. Whence we use this class 160 to 164, 160 to 164. Now, back to the formula, you get what is the lower limit, the lower limit of that class. The lower limit of that class will be 159.5 plus 3 over 4 times n, we are found to be 30. Then minus, you come here, CF is cumulative frequency above that class. Whatever is above is 23. Then we divide by frequency of that class, which is 9. Then you multiply by the class interval, which is 5. When you simplify this one, you're supposed to get 159.5 uh, plus 3.888. This one will give you uh, 163.3389 as your Q3. Now, part D of the question. We are being told to find the 80th percentile. The formula is almost the same. We are going to say that 80th percentile will be L plus uh, 80 over 100 N minus CF divided by F multiplied by I. The only place that is changing it is at that point. Now, we need to get where is the 80th percentile? Where, which class has got this uh, 80th percentile? We say to get that class, we take 80 over 100 multiplied by 40. This will give us uh, like that one. So this one will be 32. So after getting that one, 32 as our cumulative frequency, you come here and check where is 32. 32 is here and therefore we are still going to use this class. This is where our 80th percentile is. Hence, go back to the formula, we are going to say that 80th percentile will be 159.5 plus 80 over 100 times n, we have found to be 32 minus whatever is above this cumulative frequency, which is 23. We divide by the frequency of that class, which is 9. Then we multiply by the class interval. When you simplify this one, we're going to have 159.5 plus uh, this will give you 5. When you simplify that one, 32 minus 23 divided by 9 times 5, it is 5. Hence, your answer will be 164.5.